Hello, everybody. Uh, this is the Open Wind Power Floating Foundation training. And today, we're going to show you how to model the grid structure model that you can later use in Moses to, to calculate all the loads and, and get your results. Uh, here, you can see Moses executive. And here's the preheat button. I'm gonna click here. It takes a bit, but it's still loading. Okay, uh, we're gonna start with a blank model and we're gonna use metric units. Yes. Now, should click OK. And let's start on Joint tab and click on our Mesh. Here we're gonna change to cylindrical and I'm gonna use cylindrical mesh. Uh, our we're gonna start in minus twenty, which is the base of our main column. Uh, here are the total number of joints. You can check here if you have any doubt of which one of these represents. Okay, T is related to the angle, R is related to the radius, and L is related to the length. Okay, and I'm gonna start using two, and two, and one. In order to gonna use eight or one, and the coordinating command we're gonna use 20 degrees here and radius 3.25. And in this joint connectivity tab, we're gonna check this box. And this box tells the program that uh, if you already have a joint at that point, we're gonna use that one. We're not gonna create a new one uh, at the same time. Click here and then hit apply. Now you can check that only three joints were created. And let's add a plate here. Go to plate, add a group label MCC. And we're going to use tries. And the order of the joints uh, is important here. You have to, you're gonna create our cylinder from this origin to the top, and then we and then we we need that the ZX is pointing outside of the cylinder. So in this case, we should use, we should start in A1 and A3 and then A2. All right, here it is. And now, Let's rotate that and replicate to create the base. Go to join, 
translator and rotate. Let's select the joints. And rotation axis is Z. And the angle is 20 degrees. Let's go to the duplicate tab and here you're gonna tell the program to duplicate existing joints, okay? And the number of duplication is gonna be 18. Actually, 11. Actually, 17. Because we already have one. And we're going to check this box and this one. This one tells the program that uh, to, to duplicate not only the joints but also the plates. I can hit apply and here it is. We have our base. Okay, and now let's save this model. Go to file. And we're gonna use main column 01. And now we're gonna create the nodes on the body of this cylinder. Go to mesh, cylindrical, the origin is the same, and begin are gonna use 3.25, the total number of joints. In the angle, gonna use two. In the radius, gonna use only one. And in the length, we're gonna use two. Increment 20 degrees. And the increment in the length, we're gonna use one meter. And now we can go to the joint connector tab and select the joint. Use existing joint if the new joint is placed. All right, and can click apply, and the joints were created. We can zoom in. All right, here's the joint, and let's click. See the joint names, and let's select. Let's take a look at this plane. Display, plan. Um, let's take a look at the name of the joints and we're going to start um, by adding a new quad and here we're going to use A01. And start here and here, here and here click apply and let's see the whole model and now let's check
this. All right, uh, here are the local axis. The Z is pointing outside the, the body of the cylinder. And here it is, Z is pointing outside and the X is pointing along the length of the cylinder, which is what we want. Then we can Go now to joint, translate and rotate, and let's select all these joints. Um, we're gonna rotate about Z, and we're gonna use um, 20 degrees. Duplicate existing joint and 17. And check all this. Do this again. Now I can hit apply. All right. Um, so let's see from this view. Oh, better. We can. Now let's select uh, these joints, all of them, but the one in the middle. And now we're gonna create the body of the cylinder. In this case, we're not gonna rotate, we're gonna translate. Um, it's gonna be 29 meters, because we already have one, and the total length of the column is 30 meters, okay, and gonna duplicate twenty nine. Sorry, here is just one meter. Yeah, I'm gonna gonna translate one meter to twenty nine times, and then we can hit apply. Let's change the view. It was created. Uh, and now let's check if it really has 30 meters. You can go to joint and distance and let's measure this. 30 meter, that's fine. That's what we wanted. And now let's create the top. To create the top, we're gonna select joints at the base. And the number of duplications is just one. And now we're gonna use 30 meters. And we can hit apply. All right, and here's our column. Let's save it again. And let's close this. Now I have our column. Uh, we need now to define uh, the plate properties. Go to property, plate group, and let's just start from this one. In this case, the thickness is 3 centimeters, and we're not gonna use stiffeners here, so we don't need, it's not a panel, and you don't need to define, define any, any stiffeners here. Just need to hit apply, and now let's define this one. Click add, and the thickness is 3. In this case, we're gonna use a panel, and we can check this box. The stiffener, we're going to call this ST1. Spacing is 56. 
then direction X and placement at the bottom. All right, then hit apply now. And now we're gonna create another group called AO2. And I'll explain later why we are creating this. Now we're gonna create just copy group AO1. Let's take a look and uh, we need to make some changes here. The thickness is still here. The box is still checked, but the stiffness should be defined again. And the placement as well. It was at the top, which we want this at the bottom. And then we can apply. Okay, we can close now. Now let's define the stiffness section. It's already here, the one that we typed, and we can click add. We're gonna use a T, so the total height here is 30. The width adjacent is zero because it's a T. At the opposite end, it's 25. Then we can use 1.5 for the thicknesses. Okay, can hit apply now. All right, this is our section. We can close. And let's try to check this panel. All right, as you can see here, there's something missing. This is because uh, the way that this defined in sex, it should have less than 180 degrees. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go to display and group, gonna take this out of the view and let's change plate groups. And let's select all the plates at this part and change the group to A02. Okay, hit apply. All right, as you can see, it looks much better now. But let's take a look like this. Yeah, that, that's what we wanted. Uh, let's bring back the, the base and the top. All right, here's our main column. I hope you guys enjoyed and we're gonna come back with the other columns, training course and the braces and all the parts of the platform. Thank you. And we can save this model as All right, this is our model. It looks perfect now, exactly what we wanted. We can go ahead and save this. And use three. All right, that's it. Uh, here's our main column. We're gonna continue to create the secondary column the brace and then uh, we're gonna join all these elements and create our platform all right thanks for watching if you found this video helpful please give it a like and share it with others if you want to see more like it please consider subscribing to this and Bentley's other channels. Thank you, and see you next time.